Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use a snake or an auger as they're called to, uh, you know, unjam or unclog a uh, bathroom sink. I recently made a video on how to use an auger to unclog a uh, bathtub drain. It got a lot of a uh, lot of views, helped out a lot of people, so I thought I'd make the same thing on how to uh, do it on a bathroom sink. So if you don't know what an auger is, highly recommend it if you're a homeowner. It's only $18 and this has saved me probably 30 or 40 times uh, from calling a plumber and having to spend 100 or $200 to unclog some of my pipes. So if you are a homeowner, highly recommend it. I'll put a link below. Let's jump right into it. All right, everyone, just to show you what I'm dealing with here, if I turn on my sink and let the water run for a little bit, it still drains, but just not as it should. There's definitely something slowing down the drainage. So I'll let it fill up a little bit here, turn it off. It still drains but a lot slower than it should. And if I'm brushing my teeth or washing my hands, it really, really fills up. So this is where the auger comes in handy. Just a quick overview of the auger itself. You got this little curly Q uh, metal little part here. This is what, what spirals down and gets the jam. Inside here, you got 25 feet of cable, and then you got a little stopper right here that locks it in place. So basically, you just feed it down into the drain, and then just keep feeding this line in until you feel it hit something lock it in the place with this lock and then you're just going to spin this thing around while you're kind of pushing down and eventually this will spin right through the clog wherever it is in your sink so let's do it okay now rather than trying to spiral through here which could scratch up your stainless steel or whatever you have in your sink you can use usually a flathead phillips screwdriver and a lot of sinks you can rotate this counterclockwise this little locking screw and it'll loosen up the actual whole drain cover, like so. Highly recommend doing this step. It just makes it a lot easier and prevents you from damaging your equipment. So then we pull that out. Kind of gross. It was definitely time, but this will make the snake auger a lot easier to, uh, to get down there. Okay, now for the fun part. You're just going to stick your end of your auger down into your sink. Make sure this little locking screw here is locked and then you're just going to start rotating as you're pushing. I will zoom in just so you can see what's going on but that's spiraling its way down into the pipe like so. Okay once the uh, little spiral part is all the way in there you're going to unlock the screw and then just start feeding the pipe down into the sink until you feel it hit something. There I noticed it hit something. Doesn't want to go in any farther, so then we're gonna use the locking screw again. Lock it, and then start rotating like so. And this will spiral that end of the auger right through whatever jam is in there. You'll feel it eventually go through and drop down. As you can see, it's going in. So we are through whatever was holding the sink from draining from clogging the sink. And if you feel like it, once you're through that first part that was uh, giving you resistance, if you wanna unscrew this again, feed more line in just to make sure there's not a second clog, but usually in my experience, it's just one clog. So once we're done here, we're gonna loosen this, and then we're gonna pull back as much as we can by hand. You usually get some gross stuff. Look at all that stuff. I would guess that was contrib contributing to the clog, not the grossy out, but like I said, these augers really work for getting the stuff out of your sink. So um, this one came out pretty easy, but if you notice when you're pulling the line back, once you get to the curly Q little part, if it's not working, you're gonna wanna, of course, lock the screw and then go counterclockwise and slightly pull and it'll feed the little spiral thing back out of your, out of your sink there. So yeah, gross. Okay, before you test and turn on the water to see if you fixed uh, the clog, you don't want any water to uh, spill down into your uh, underneath your bathroom cabinet there. So I recommend screwing this thing back on so it creates a tight seal. But I'm going to guess what I pulled out of there probably was the reason why my sink was draining so slow. So I'm just going to get this kind of finger tight just to do a preliminary check. Fingers crossed. As you can see, 
it's just draining. So that solved the problem. Hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a like. Again, you can find these augers online. Um, I'll put a link below where you can find them on Amazon. And I recommend cleaning these off really good, spraying them down with some deodorizer afterwards, or they'll start to develop a funky smell. Don't ask me how I know that, but you really want to uh, clean these off and just give them a good wash. So hope to see you in the next video. Hope you found this video informative. Please smash that like button. Bye.